welcome back. Welcome back. The silver bird has already flown away. I will catch it later. Welcome back. O pasaro de hint. It flutters by your ear. It's what the Zemoyaki, the Gradian community in Rivershaw, call a person who never breaks under interrogation. It's an organized crime term. Excuse me? She's attempted to remain calm, but the phrase made her flinch. What do you mean? All right. My father was a Zemyaki. He died years ago. He was a bad man. Not a lot of good things to say about him and what he did. He bought the family a huge house, so we got to live, at least temporarily, in a giant castle in Jammok. And then he died. What do you think? The competition came and took everything away. It was like in a war zone. So after his death, we had nothing left, and we were in danger. My mother had to change her name, mine too. We left it all behind. It was a stupid idea, and I'm still disappointed I came up with it. Aren't there any local authorities who might look down on such activities? I took that into account, of course. Coordinated the operation with the debardeurs, else they might get unhappy. Not in person, but I'll let them know. You can't do anything without the fat ones getting wind. It wasn't too difficult to convince them, really. It's a good thing you ended that mess, though. I felt I was turning dad-wise into a corrupt business person. Unpleasant. Hear that? Set justice on its feet. Confront Everard. Come on, this is all fine. But you don't have anything on Everard now. That's not how these things work. No, I don't think it would lead anywhere with Everard. He's just going to deny it. Yeah. Have you seen Everard? Welcome back. This is easy. Antennas are basically just tall things, right? The young man looks straight up, following the line of your finger. A frown comes over his face. Not likely to work. This old church is made from pine wood. They don't make too many pine wood antennas. He's being uncharacteristically polite. He means they don't make any pine wood antennas because it's such an obviously bad idea, you see. Nah, it won't be. There can't be a first to something that can't be. Dedicated, hyperactive, unified. You will have to add something of your own to understand this list of loosely formed qualities called hardcore. You need your own entry. Make it. Test your limits. Surpass them. Dance till you drop. Dance till you die. If you must.
It feels manly, beautiful. All right, brainstorming time. Remember, this is just the ideation phase. There are no bad ideas. What? Are you some kind of aquatic cop now? Something tells me Miss Messier would be less than thrilled to hear your plan to commandeer her boat so you can talk to a collision warship. No way I'm getting on a boat owned by the Wild Pines. Everything about them gives off a real shadowy sign. Close your eyes. Unfold your mental map of Martinez. It's morning. You're standing on the plaza before the whirling in rags. The wind pushes a piece of tear across the cracked tiles. From the north comes the malicious laughter of two children. Your eye follows the tiles west. You see a bench and a few twisted, pitiful trees. Then, just water. From behind you, a low, spectral voice whispers, Nay. Beyond the unkempt backyard rises a monstrous assemblage of concrete, plaster, and corrugated sheet metal. The voice again, more urgent now. Nay, just a moment. That voice isn't human, and it's not saying nay. It's saying nay. You turn around. The morning sun is blinding. You bring your hand to your brow, and a great shadow materializes before you. A towering beast, frozen in mid-air. Centaur Man is made of metal. With the right gear, we can make it work. Yeah! Connect the Centaur to the lorries! Unite the whole roundabout in hardcore waves! Huh? Sounds like Egg saying you could use some of the spare cables to rig up the stalled motor lorries and increase the wavelength. which would pretty much make the old roundabout one giant antenna. One roundabout, one wavelength, hardcore! Pretty hardcore. Maybe it would be better to go with something more positive. We have the amps, we have the cables, we're almost ready, yeah! He's right. All we're missing now is the transceiver itself. Soon as you find one, We'll be all set. I don't know. Buy one? Steal one? I don't know your cop ways. And before you ask, no, you can't have the radio from my kinema. I highly doubt that. When I crank the volume on my dino wave, it's like you're in the front row at the National Concert Hall. Joke all you want, detective. Whatever radio you manage to scrunch up won't lay a finger on my setup. Cop on cop challenge. Not bad. Let's see what you come up with. Though I have to say, cop cars and lorries usually pack the best equipment in town. Can't do it. We just got this place set up. Can't go risking eggs most important equipment. Yeah, probably. 
thing is, you'd have to be an engineer to get it out. I'd stick with regular radios if I were you. Hmm. Some equipment from Arbor could work. Worth the legwork at least. Maybe, if you want to pay money like some kind of money lord, yeah, pawn shop could have one. While you're gone, me and Egg will get the rest of the gear together. Meet us back here when you got it. is 4.5 millimeter. These two don't mix. Oh no, we're going to be in this church forever. Don't worry, I have an adapter for it right here. Hang on, this is a 4.5. We're all good, people! Whoa, thank God. Adapters noticeably degrade the sound quality. Great! Someone got through to him. Okay, let's get it all set up. Can we turn the music off, please? Everybody! Everybody! Don't panic! I'm going to turn off the on off for just a sec for a special scheduled event. The on off will be back, but we're doing something else for one moment. All right, go tell us that Egghead is ready to rave to her tunes, and then I'll turn off the music. Yes, what is it? Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down a bit? Just in case. Maximum! Maximum is the only way! I know, I know it is, but could you please turn it down just this instance? Just this one time? Maximum is not the only way, okay? Pump it to the brick! Pump it to the hard master! There's no other way! Glue style! Glue style? Okay, there literally is no other way. The mixing desk is glued to maximum. See? He pumps it to the hard master. It's hopeless. Because I'm afraid that something might happen. It's an unknown phenomenon. We can always turn it back up if there's a need. Can't turn down the hardcore! Of course it is. Yeah! Permanent enlightenment! Ray of sound! Never mind then. Let's get on with our project. I'm going to unmute the speakers on a count of five. Everyone ready? Egghead pumps his hand up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. Born ready. Ready. I'm ready if you two are detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. Not so stoically, his hand moves to the gun holster. Suddenly, your palms are sweaty. The church seems cold and large, somehow. There's tightness in your chest. Anxiety. What? No. We should definitely do this. I am going to do this. Ready? Her hand is trembling slightly. Five, four, three, two, one. Mute disengaged. No wind outside. No waves. No floorboards creaking. Total, continuous silence. This is unnatural. The woman looks around. 
In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. In the silence, a low hum starts creeping up your spine. It's a song inside you, not in the speakers, not in the room. A great bass sigh in the basement of your mind. Slowly, it builds until the air around you starts to vibrate. It's out there now, in the world, made manifest. It will devour everything. The floorboards, the glass, the streets and the people. Nothing will remain. Guys, what's going on? This fragile world is about to break. It's getting louder! In the basins, the water looks like it's boiling. Hosiana, mother of Mega! In his mind, a tidal wave approaching from afar, swallowing entire coastlines on its way. Salvation. He's peaking, the worst high he's ever been on. The beauty and the beat, the future of dance. Planetary! No, Egg! It's the window! In the corner of your eye, the lieutenant steps aside, cautiously, his eyes searching for a possible evacuation route. The window is going to come down! No, the roof! Cracks appear on the stained glass window. Cracks run up the wooden pillars in the dark. Come down to us! Love! Below it, all the base grows, like the jaws of a giant compressor gnawing on metal and wood. It does not sound benevolent at all. It's shaking the building's foundation. The floor twists. A great pulse arises in your flesh. That's it. I'm muting it. to feel the heat with somebody! Shit! It doesn't stop! A seal? Have you? Yes! I've turned it off! Andre, pull the compressor! The place is gonna come down! Fuck! I can't shut it up! The signal's passed! It's not in here! It's... In the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This is it. A great roar. The vault of the roof twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the door. It's coming down. But then it stops. Totally and utterly. As if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Everybody is staring at Egghead holding a dangling cable in his hand. A black three-pin connector. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. You did good, Egg. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady, tell me you were recording that. Four years. Twenty-two people. Millions of reals. All that time? This is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswaf isn't gonna believe this. Yeah, but did you record it, though? It was dope. I think we can use it. Yes, Andre. I recorded it. Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered, but I know what it sounds like now. That's the start. It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. I promise, officer. We will not play it again. It was mathematical information from the anomaly presented as a waveform. That's what it was technically. Theoretically... 
I have no idea. I've never even heard of anything like this. A voice seems muffled in the silent church. It's your ears adjusting after the exposure. Yes, our lead designer. And maybe some of the producers too. And some of the writers. If they're sober enough to open a transmission. They need to hear. That it wasn't her fault. Or theirs. They need to hear about this. Don't worry, I won't send the recording. Although I doubt they have the speakers to produce the frequency anyway. Stay here! I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters, maybe meet Sulispov. Also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. I don't care, but thank you anyway. That's the best she can manage for Andre. It's quite a lot in truth. For her, at least. Now, I have a theory to come up with. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Or the letter will sound like I've lost my mind. Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. Some tiny hard thing lets go in your stomach. You're still alive. You have an explanation for all this. Somewhere deep in you, you know. The person you were knows. itself and everything around it completely fills up the headspace extreme inside your chest the heart beats still with the after effects of the sound imagine if you could harness that power making it pulse oh oh but how what about the compressor the one with the spiky hair was setting up to achieve some sort of parallel processing Side chain the beat. Listen, you can use the compressor to select between which track it's compressing, either the auxiliary signal or the main input from the tape. Make it alternate between the signals. The compressor controls the gain based on the level of the signal on the aux side chain input. It will allow maintaining a loud sound without peaks that fill up all the headspace. Side chaining it, you said. Then, he puts on his headphones, and his eyes go wide. Wider than they've ever gone on drugs. He starts jumping up and down, with bliss, in total silence. Still listening to his headphones. Hey, what did you do to Egghead Cop Man? Did you break him? Are you ready, pussy? Noid straightens his back, ready for the beat. I was born ready, Egg.
stage, intensely waving his hand in the air. This is beauty! This is life! What in the world is going on? The way melody and bass flow together, it's unnatural. Your body is taking a beating from the low frequencies crashing over you. It's making you feel alive again. Introducing the ultimate sound! God damn it! This dance club idea might just work out. DeLorean Church! The place to be! Pump it! Pump it! This is it. This is a new era. The fabric of the world has been irrevocably altered. Who would be the innocence of hardcore anodic dance music? Hey man, it's good to see you. Goodbye, officer. Close your eyes and vacate your skull, leaving your brain to wonder, where did that little fluttering light go? Total darkness. You sink down the darkest fathoms of your own personal deep. Vertebrate by vertebrate, through the unformed skulls of your mind. Here it will begin. Who fucking cares? God. Where is your God? Oh, don't worry. The music's still there. It's you who is gone. This is a pivotal moment. Try not to piss yourself. Nothing. Just the immaculate silence of your spinal fluid. Electrified. It comes to you like a blue whale. You sense it stir the tranquility of the deep. A single note of bass passing through. Then it's gone. Back to El Silencio. This is where the beat plunged. It will resurface soon. Brace for glory. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every vertebrate in your spine is an unformed skull ready to pop up and replace the old one. Like shark teeth. The one you're currently in has a little brain forming in it. Waiting for its turn. To rule the world! I am the spinal cord. From what I can see, it's about to bust a move. Foolhardy! Do you even know what's happening on the surface? Maybe a thousand years have passed. Or maybe you started passing out like two seconds ago. With your eyes still closed, the first thing you feel, all the way back in the pivoting darkness of your own torso, is warmth. You have become a triumph of rhythmoplastics, somewhere in a smelly wooden church on the coast of Revachon. The wounds from the war you waged on your body are healing, twist by twist, turn by turn. As you open your eyes, you should scream, hyper, hyper. It seems appropriate. 
you have become a flawless interlocking mechanism, a flesh and bone approximation of the throb coming from the speaker setup of the one called Eggheads, entirely rigidly imbecilic, without pity or fear. Free from self-awareness, no deliberation, only, and I mean only, execution. What? Get to what? Sheesh, okay. Okay, you psychopath. I see what you're doing there. It's jacked up footwear. Press some. Um, is that Ubi folk dancing? Nah, it's not Ubi folk. It's hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, yeah? I did 15 years in the juvenile crime unit. I can do age inappropriate. Now, check this shit out. The lieutenant begins to heel kick the church floor with such intensity. It's reasonable to fear he'd kick a hole right through it, causing the floor to crack and the pillars to collapse, bringing the church roof down on all of you. It doesn't look like he can shit either. motion of your flailing body is bordering on the extreme. You're going off the charts. You feel as if turning on the hyperdrive will be a point of no return. It feels almost memorable. Are you sure you have the entire possible room for this? Here we go again! Hardcore, fancy, eh! Yeah, the sound above my head! What now? The 
sound above your what? And above my hair, man. Okay, this is too imbecilic. Excuse me. On the coast of the Martinez Inlet, in a small weather beaten slave church built 380 years ago by settlers from the Occident, most likely to guard against an anomaly at its center. An officer of the RCM is contorting his body into idiotically rigid shapes as he invents the future of dance music. It's the hardest anyone has ever danced. I am La Revachelière. I am the city. I am a fragment of the world spirit, the genius Loki of Revachel. My heart is the wind corridor. The bottom of my air is red. I have a hundred thousand luminous arms. Come morning, I carry industrial dust and let it settle on tree leaves. I shake the dust from those leaves and onto your coat. I've seen you. I've seen you. I've seen you with her. And I've seen you without her. I've seen you on the crescent of the hill. I am a fragment of the world spirit, the genius Loki of Revachol. My heart. Come morning. I I've seen you. The modulations of my voice are noted down with thermometers and barometers. You feel me in your nostrils, on the little hairs on the back of your neck. I also reside in your lungs and vestigial organs. Everywhere there is space. You are an officer of the citizens' militia, Jean Tinrebu. When you wear your coat, you wear my soul. You move through my streets freely, in motor carriages and on foot. You have access to the hidden places you also circulate among those who are hidden. I need you. You can keep me on this earth. Be vigilant. I love you. An officer of the RCM is lying on the floor of a small church with his eyes rolled back and his tongue lolling out. Several others are standing around him. He slowly comes to. Had a good rest there? Fuck yeah! I bet you did. Those were some advanced moves, man. That's all great, but we should really get going. We spent enough time doing aerobic exercise for today. You might be imagining it, but it feels like Egghead turned the volume down. Such is his respect. Man! Now! Now, man! Now, now imagine if we could do that, right? But with like a thousand people. End of human development. Mission complete. I would. You're absolutely beat. Muscles relaxed and feet like noodles underneath. Goodbye, officer.
Yes, what is it? You don't have to. You already have. A long time ago. These thoughts formed in you somewhere in a long forgotten discussion behind the kitchen table in the evening light. Drinking coffee and smoking with a friend and a woman. She was there too. Her hair smelled of shampoo as she was smoking. What? But, but Pale isn't here. We're thousands of kilometers from the edge. That comforts her. She looks up into the darkness under the nave, then back at you. You have her full, undivided attention. The lieutenant's, too. He takes his glasses off. Then what is that? It's nothing. No, it's less than nothing. No. Then the pale is... But the gradient, it clearly hasn't started yet. We're here, and the pale is not. I understand. A theory of the pale where instead of an outer ocean, it metastasizes. Like a cancer or a mold. Erupting in points inside the world. According to this, how long... And information! Causing data losses in the east in Selindian front. Have you considered why it's formed in a church? And also when or how it might start growing, or if it has other effects in addition to sound and data? An intellectual hunger fills her now, casting fear aside. I also have a question, since we are piling them up. How do you know this? I'm not doubting you. I'm simply curious as to how a detective of the RCM sarcophagus, or a, a containment facility of some kind, built by the first settlers. I have considered the same. The bad news is, there were seven Pinewood churches built in the first decade of provincial settlement. Most of them were burnt down during the revolution, or repurposed before, during the suzerain. I'm not saying all of them have one in them, but... Some of them might. A black grain hanging in the air. You think the presence of that puncture has somehow influenced the outcome of events here? Even say, software development? She already made up her mind when she heard it. Some kind of great and uncaring force had to play a part. It wasn't only them. I told the producers we need to go and move to a normal office building, with amenities. But no, the artists like the milieu, the writers like the history. I told them. You mean, play Sans and the Dice Maker? There was almost no one left when we packed up. Then go tell them. An amateur anthroponetic police officer. I'd like to say I've heard stranger things, but I'm not sure. This is a hell of a guess, however. Well worded, I might add. Yes, it is very interesting. But I wouldn't say you know. This is a guess. One that's going to have to be proved by anthroponetic scientists. She falls silent. The wind blows in through the hole in the stained glass window. Cold and moist. I'm going to leave that out. But the rest? Some of this I can use to start to explain this to the rest of the team. Maybe I'll sound mad, but... Ma'am, you will certainly sound mad. One more thing. Maybe a club for anodic music isn't the worst thing you can erect around this particular point in space. I wouldn't go so far as to 
Yeah! Once the light is on in the universe, it will never go out! Thank you, Wakehead. Let's leave it at that, shall we? We have an anthropogenic detection to perform in this district. The creepy woman! We were wondering about that when we worked there, but I had completely forgotten about it ever since. It must be anthropogenic crosstalk, the one you get in radios and long distance calls. Now it makes sense, with the pale white on the doorstep. Incredible. This would also explain why we get it on the police radio all the time. It's quite common, actually. When the signal gets routed through pale, all kinds of irregularities take place. You may hear snippets of someone else's conversation, or the voice of your former lover, or an echo of an event that took place hundred years ago. Pale is a shroud of memories, and it doesn't really distinguish to whom those memories belong to. You could hear anything. Anytime. It's getting late, and it's snowing. Time to call it a day. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. <laughs> 